Derek Young at K-State Online here with Taylor Warner, a signee for the Kansas State Wildcats. You'll be there in a couple months, correct? Oh, I will. Okay. Yeah. The biggest question of those always been sent around you is what position you'd be, whether it be the offensive line or the defensive line. What have you kind of heard in terms of where you'll begin your career in Manhattan? So I was told that I'm going to start out offensive line and then see how that catches and then we'll go from there, you know, in the spring. It'll take some time to figure it out, but, you know, we'll find the right spot. You played offensive line at Gardner Edgerton, of course, so it won't be a, the biggest transition for you. But uh, in terms of interior or on the edge, playing tackle, which one do you think you're most comfortable with or will probably play in Manhattan? Uh, most likely interior, you know, either interior line or interior defensive line. Either one is what, what they're telling me. So we'll just see when I get there. I mean, your future position coach is going to be Coach Riley, Connor, Connor Riley. What has been your kind of thoughts on him? What has he kind of told you in order to get prepared for – you'll probably be there in what, June? Yes, yeah, early June. Um, plan on reporting around June 1st. So, um, I don't know, he's very energetic. I love that. You know, he's, uh, you know, into, you know, just making us work hard and getting the best out of us, and that's what I'm, I'm excited for that, so – was there any tussle or did you feel any tussle for, uh, for you between the coaches that try to get you on defense as well? A little bit, you know, but I think uh, Coach Riley ultimately won that one, you know. So, I mean, it was slight, but, you know, it's just they tell me whatever, you know, we'll find the best fit for you, whether that's offense or defense, and then we'll, you know, we'll assess from there. So. You blew up, at least in K-State's eyes, when you camped there last June. So it'll be, you'll be going there a year later from that. What was that camp experience like? And did you feel the the rush that it really charged? Because the K-State picked up about 15 commits, mm -hmm. it seemed like, that month. And you didn't waste any time doing it. No, no. Um, my decision was quick. But you know, after going to the camp and everything, I, I realized it was the right one. You know, They offered me. Um, Talked to most of the coaches while I was there, even coaches that I probably will never be, you know, I'll never play under, you know. They all came up and talked. I built a relationship with all of them. And I don't know, it just, as soon as they told me I got in the car, was going home, I was like, I think, you know, this is this is the one. So I just want to, I went up the next day, you know, saw the facilities and then I was, it was the right fit. So it was a rush decision, but it was, you know, it was the right one, definitely. Did any other school try to come in later and try to change your mind? Um, no, not really. I mean, I never picked up any offers after I committed. Um, I had schools that I previously had offers, you know, they all contacted me and said, you know, if nothing works out, then we're always here. But I, you know, never really felt any pressure to, you know, decommit or anything like that. Because, I mean, really, after I committed, it was made it known that it was solid. You know, I'm not changing my mind. So it was, I don't know, it was comfortable. It was, it was nice to finally get that off my off my shoulders. Because you have signed, are, are you able to get like a strength and conditioning plan from K State and yes. kind of work on that? And how has it been trying to get used to it? Well, I mean, he, uh, I got, I got the book from them, and you know, Coach Simmons said I wrote that book, so you're gonna do what I say. And so I'm, I'm here, you know, still doing what I usually do, and talk to them about it. And, you know, they're all for it. You know, so it's, you know, not really any, you know, nothing, no sort of transition really between what they're doing and what we're doing here. So I'm excited for that. What number are you going to be at K-State? Um, right now, 51. You know, we'll see. You know, I think tentatively that's what that's what we got. So we'll see moving forward what it is. But were you trying for 52? That was your. Guess? I was, yeah. But I mean, you know, I didn't really expect to get it just because I knew. You know, was it Nick Allen? Yeah, he's got 52. So, you know, it is what it is. Really, take whatever I can get. Just blessed to be here. So. Now, you know some most of the guys in your class i imagine and some of them are already on campus and enrolled do you know who you're rooming with um right now nate matlack cody stuffelbean and then i think they talked about adding uh wit mitchum so yeah it's pretty good pretty good room you know we're all we're all pretty tight so i'm, I'm excited it's gonna be a good group of guys the last thing we'll leave on is what are you most excited about K-State. Is it the football stuff or you can still kind of kid too and you want to enjoy college life as well, I'm sure. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for the academics, you know, really just to get, find my role, you know, and I'm, I'm excited to go around, be guys, go be around guys that, you know, I know want it just as bad as I do and have the same type of work ethic and will push me to be the best I can be knowing that I will push them as well. All right, that's one of the newer Wildcats. Taylor Warner, he's a signing for K-State. He'll be there in June. I'm Derek Young. You've been listening to K-State Online.